We're bringing back the systemic blending with larger crowds that allow you to move undetected through the business location. But you can in order also... to control AI groups and make your way through guarded areas. And vanishing loops, making guard behaviors more responsive and readable. You... Act as usual. That guard who likes me said she and Ali's followers are trying to overthrow the prince. What madness! They will surely fail. Have a look, Bassem. I may have something that is of interest to you. I shall see what flavor best suits me. Down! Uh, Try to follow uh, it! a watchman. <laughs> What's wrong with you? There's a lot of cool stuff there, but I think when you like boil it down to its core. Like, you have to know how to uh, escape, you have to know how to hide when it's appropriate. Quiet it. Find a stillness. And let's go. The stage is yours, Basim. more ways to assassinate, with new killing animations. Then, when the time is right, you can strike from the shadows. Some leverages moves, like the bench assassination that you might recognize from AC2, or the kill from the rooftop gardens, an old favorite. I mean, we've only played three contracts, which are like, not even story content, so I don't want to speak to the story, but like, these contracts showed a pretty clear dedication to the stealth focus that the series was born out of. Um, and that's something, that's probably what I'm most excited about. One thing I really like about the, the, the levels in this game, or I, really it's the, it's the open... Help! 
big diorama puzzles where if you fail, it's like, okay, I'm gonna reload, I'm, I'm making my line, almost like I'm speed running. And like, how can I be as efficient as possible taking these out? And the, the, the levels themselves are really neat because the first comment, The sub goal was to be undetected. It was this vertical, this game of verticality. Bad growing everything you see. Which you could do in, in like the last three games to uh, pretty good, to pretty high success and still have a really good time. Hey! Ooh, yeah. uh, you die yeah. now! New moves and mechanics built specifically for Basim. Much like Altair, Basim's primary combat tools are his sword and dagger. For the animation team, our goal was to create an agile master assassin who is as a combat would come with bigger challenges, higher stakes, and a greater reliance on tools to escape tricky situations. There you are. Where this is going. I don't think it's as big as a shift as one might hope with a return to small scale Assassin's Creed, but. Embrace the fear. So this is more like pull decks to kind of parkour and circles parkour down. But the world is like built way better for parkour compared to the recent entries, in my opinion. The recent entries are these giant open world sandboxes. They're not designed to parkour the same way one singular city is. But I, I noticed around Baghdad, there's... Bringing the action back to a urban environment. In Mirage, parkour is easy to learn and to master. Our approach is closer to the SEO games, where it's all about keeping the flow and the momentum going with a design centered around verticality. Of course, Basim is faster and more agile than Ivor was. You can move from street level to the rooftops in a blink of an eye. This is the place. Anywhere you look in Baghdad, you can kind of see like a line to parkour. And I was testing that quite a few instances, just, you know, trying to hit it from like front to back run around and see if I could do it differently. Um, and it's fun like carving your own little path through the city. Uh, I feel like in Valhalla and Odyssey and Origins, you can kind of climb everything and the parkour is just there because it's Assassin's Creed and we have parkour. Whereas here it feels- Let him escape! Time to vanish. Get back here, dog! You hear that, bloodbag? Ha! You're a pet! Get in the way! Let us reconsider the approach. needed to be a strong narrative-driven experience. We also created the History of Baghdad feature, designed as a...
gatehouse blocking the blocking the canal. And so before you could steal a boat, uh, and the and the Do you see Enkidu? Round Baghdad specifically, which I like. There is my target. Rebuilding Baghdad was not going to be an easy task though. The marksman and can shoot your eagle and prevent you from using it. Enkidu. There is my target. A journey that is reflected in the game systems. There is no XP-based progression in Mirage. Instead, progression is linear and story-driven. We created four major districts defining the city. The industrial district of Arbie is a dense Future. green... ...outfit dye, which you can use to change the colors of certain outfits, just like you could in AC2 or Brotherhood. We implemented the nostalgic visual filter as an option for those who wish to explore the game with a desaturated blue-gray color palette. Most want to play. Many of us felt the desire to revisit some of the old imagery, narrative theme, and gameplay that made us. That he learns the way of the assassins and becomes one of the hidden ones. Soon, he's tasked with striking down the order in Baghdad. And Pizza. finally, at the center of it all, we have the seat of power in the region, the iconic round city, also known at the time as Madinat -e Salam. The city of peace. Where we could kill five, I think, at once. I am not like surprised by what Mirage is, but I had a good time playing it. It's kind of exactly what I had hoped and thought it would be. It's very much. The tales of Baghdad are short, narrative side quests, touching on key cultural subjects from the time period, like astronomy. verticality and figuring out which guards to take out in which way so that you could hit a lever and open up, release the gates that you could then jump into the water, get on the boat and, and steer it out and, and steer it to the secret uh, cove for to complete the mission. That stuff was really cool because it wasn't just go, go assassinate this person, right? Stop that murderer! What is the sword? He must face the law! 